when Republicans attack navigators, they're attacking folks like the University of Arkansas, the Epilepsy Foundation of Florida, the Visiting Nurse Services of Iowa, Ascension Health, Ohio Association of Food Banks, and the National Urban League. These are just a few of the organizations that actually hire and supervise these navigators. These are people who, who are engaging in an effort to help Americans who want health insurance to get it. All right, folks, welcome to the Steve Malsberg Show. It is the Tuesday edition, and uh, right off the bat, uh, that's Jay Carney yesterday in response to a question from Ed Henry uh, about uh, Daryl Issa uh, holding hearings uh, yesterday in Texas on, uh, you know, discoveries by James O'Keefe. We've had him here in the studio. Uh, he's gone undercover with his people, and he's found that these uh, healthcare navigators are telling people to lie, to cheat, to steal, uh, to forge. And uh, there's Carney, you know, praising the navigators in a blanket statement. Joining us now is Congressman Pete Sessions, a Republican, of course, chairman of the House Rules Committee. Hello, Congressman. Steve, how are you today? I am fine. So um, I, I, what do you make of, uh, of uh, the avoidance of the actual question uh, from, uh, you know, from Carney, which is par for the course? But, I mean, th th there are issues to be addressed here, not only with the, the e ethical behavior of the navigators, but also the revelations yesterday that uh, confidential uh, navigator training manuals have been uploaded online. There was much that was learned yesterday, and it was the most interesting public hearing that was held in Chairman Issa was so kind to come to Richardson, Texas, just north of Dallas. What we discovered were, were a number of things, and, and the first one was they did not even produce anyone who would address the issue other than to excuse it and say those employees had been disciplined. They did not try and address the matter. They did not uh, specifically state what was right or wrong or good or bad. So I think they by not providing anybody to even come and, and, and protect themselves, uh, recognize that this is simply a, a bad circumstance. And it happened in Dallas, Texas, and, and the accusations are terrible. But as the hearing went on, it also went into some brighter, bigger aspects. And one of them was that what is being sold in the state of Texas today by uh, insurance agents, they are people who are licensed. They have to be very specific about what they're selling. They have a liability clause, and they have a, uh, a clause that is on them uh, from, from a legal perspective. Now, what does this mean? This means that the people who are selling insurance in the state of Texas have one standard. The navigators uh, do not know what they're selling and are simply trying to sign people up for an unspecified health care uh, pitch that they make. When I ask the senior person representing the Health and Human Services in Texas and asked him, did he have knowledge of or could he provide information about specific doctors, specific hospitals, or specific coverage to any person, he indicated he could not do that under Obamacare. Not <laughs> as though he didn't want to. He just couldn't. He does yeah. not know what it is or who they are. So, uh, Congressman, I mean, this is, uh, this is just breeding chaos. And we're talking about, I know you know this, real people uh, and with real families and real situations. And it's $6 million now. But at this time next year, it's going to be $106 million. No question about that. They described it as simply a neighbor helping a neighbor. And they trivialized it by saying, well, we're out there to help people who do not presently have insurance. Well, today. that's what as, Carney said. That's what Carney said as, to Henry. Same as thing. You, as you have enumerated, people that will have to move to this because their insurance is being outlawed. And for you not to understand whether your doctor that you want to go to is on the health care system or not, uh, as a point I brought up yesterday, I happen to have a disabled son. I am worried about other families that have disabled children. The children's hospitals across the country evidently are not included in the government plan. 
which means that you cannot attend them without out-of-pocket costs, up to and including money that could not be spent against the deductible. So these are very, very serious issues for any family. And then on top of that, we got into how the deductibles, my insurance that I will go to, once again, private sector versus now Obamacare is 90% more expensive and I have a two thousand dollar deductible. Yeah, that's it's outrageous. Because uh, uh, Congressman, yeah, we're talking to Congressman Pete Sessions here, Chairman of the Rules uh, House Rules Committee on the Steve Malsberg Show. Uh, deductible is a word that uh, people are going to start learning. Uh, many of whom, especially any young people who do sign up for Obamacare, uh, because the premium they think is not so bad, or people who get subsidies for the premium, and then when they go to the doctor, they're going to think it's like a free Obama phone. You know, they think they're going to get their health care covered, and they're going to see four, five, six thousand dollar deductible. They won't even know what it means. Oh, it, it is outrageous. But the worst part is, obviously, is that we're going to take the greatest health care system in the world. And ruin it. And we're going to make it a two- and three-tier system. Yep. And all of a sudden, we will find out that this was about manipulating the greatest health care system to harm patients and physicians. And, you know, one of the biggest jokes of the whole thing is, if they talk about a gold-plated plan, but their plans they call gold, silver, and bronze. Yeah. It, and, it, 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 and they use the exact same terms, but a gold plan is not gold. It is a less than more and more expensive than what was in the marketplace under general availability. And, once again, I have no clue who my doctors are who the hospitals are that will take that my what I need, nor what that exact coverage is. And this is what the president's openly selling. So I said yesterday, I think the president should have to offer a advisory to consumers to have them not uh, even attempt uh, uh, to use the, these navigators or Obamacare because it does not provide information that they can be held accountable for. Con Congressman, and I believe that's a fraud. I, okay, I'm with you. What about the fact that the White House today named a former Microsoft executive to run healthcare.gov? Well, <laughs> they're, they're, they're trying to make it seem like all their problems are computer generated. That is the least of their worries. Physicians in Dallas, Texas, last night in a group that I was with, said that they have contacted their group administrator and the group administrators have no idea whether they have been signed up or I not. I know that's it that's at the back it end not completed. I know it, it is it is it is a it is a front end though about what doctors will yep. be provided. Yep. And and this is where the administration has government has no business trying to run a private sector enterprise. One more for you, Congressman. We only have a minute, but uh, new ABC News, Washington Post poll uh, shows now that um, uh, 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 the more people uh, would uh, trust uh, congressional Republicans to handle the economy, 45 to 42 percent. Um, and, and right on down the line, they'd rather have the Republicans running the government than Democrats. Um, are you encouraged going into 014? I'm encouraged. We've got to win the Senate and we'll return the House. And that is what the Republican Party can offer. We will repeal Obamacare. All right, Congressman. Listen, and God bless you with your, your son. Good luck and to you and all those people who have special needs, uh, uh, relatives, uh, children, or, or, or adults. And uh, it's just going to be very, very difficult. Thank you, and Merry Christmas to you, sir. And to you, too. Thank, Thank you. That's uh, Congressman Pete Sessions, ladies and gentlemen. It is very, very scary. All right, uh, we're coming back. Uh, we're going to uh, let you hear some very interesting sound that you're not going to want to miss. We're just kicking off uh, the Tuesday edition of the Steve Malzberg Show. And we're doing it right here in style uh, on Newsmax TV and radio. Don't you go away.